The day I will show you how to make 5 text effects in Filmora 11, so let's get right into it. To create the ripple text effect, place your video on the timeline, go to sample color, place the black photo on top, then go to titles. Search for the default title and place that on the third layer. To adjust the title, select it, type the text you want, for example shark, let's change the font robot to black and the size to 150. When you get the look you want, press OK. Then click outside of the title, that way we remove the selection and take a snapshot of the text. For higher quality, keep the format PNG and press OK. The snapshot will appear with the other media. We don't need the black photo and the title anymore, so select them, right click and delete. Place the snapshot on the second layer. To remove the black background, select the snapshot, go to compositing and change the blending mode from normal to lighten. To make the letters transparent, lower the opacity to 85%. When that is done, press OK, go to Effects, search for the water effect and place it on the snapshot. If you play the video, you will see that the text moves a lot. To adjust it, select the snapshot, go to Effect, lower the emboss to 0.10 and the steps to 3. Press OK, go back to the start and this is the final result. Next, I will show you how to create the shining text effect. Place the video on the timeline, go to titles, search for the default title and place it next to the video. To adjust the title, select it, type the text you want, for example New York, change the font to Roboto Bold and the size to 100. When that is done, click outside of the title, take a snapshot of the white text, keep the format PNG and press OK. The snapshot will appear up here with the other media. Let's change the color of the text, select the title, go to text color, down to more, I will make it yellow, press OK and place the title above the video. Also place the snapshot that we took on the third layer. If you play the video, you will only see the white text, but now we will mask it and create the shine effect. Go back to the start, select the snapshot, go to mask, select the double line mask and lower the width a little. This should be enough. Place it on top of a letter to see how it looks. To adjust it more, scroll down to the settings. Let's increase the blur strength to 7 and rotate it 10 degrees. You can adjust it as much as you want. I will increase the width a little more and let's add the keyframe at the start of the timeline so you can see the science shape down here. Move the mask all the way to the left of the text, this will be our starting point. And then move two seconds forward. Add another keyframe, go down to position and use X to move the mask all the way to the right. Let's go back to the start and this is the final result. Next we will create the text reveal effect. Place the video on the timeline, go to titles, search for the default title and place it on the second layer. Match the duration of the title with the video, so go to the end, cut it, right click and delete the other part. To adjust the title, select it and go to advanced. Type the text you want, for example the end. Increase the space between the letters to 15 and lower the text fill opacity to 50%. When that is done, press OK. Right click and copy the title, select the layer above, right click on it and paste it. Make sure to select the second text and go to advanced. Let's increase the opacity of the second text to 100%, then go to animation. And down here you will find the string blur animation. Select it and play the video to see how it looks. As you can see the animation happens too fast. What I will do is extend both the starting animation and the ending close to the middle. When that is done, press OK and this is the final result. Next, we will create the outline fill effect. Place the video on the timeline, go to titles, search for the default title and place it on the second layer. Match the duration of the title with the video, so go to the end, cut it, right click and delete the other part. To adjust the title, select it and go to advanced. Type your text, for example, let's drive. Change the font to Roboto Bold, the text size to 85 and increase the distance between the letters to 15. Then remove the text fill, scroll down and add the text outline. 
change the color of the outline to white, lower the thickness to 1 because 8 is too much, and press OK. This will be the skeleton of our effect. Right click and copy the title, select the layer above, and paste the title using Ctrl V on your keyboard. Select the second title, go to Advanced, and for this one, remove the outline. The outline you see now is from the text below. And apply the text fill. When that is done, go to Animation, and down here you will find the Random 2 animation. Select it, and see how it looks at first. As you can see the animation happens too fast, what I will do is remove the end animation completely and drag the start animation all the way to the end. Press OK and this is the final result. Next we will create the text color transition. To do that, go to Titles, search for the default title and place it on the timeline. Let's extend it so we can see it better, and select it so you can adjust it. Let's type for example Filmora, find a nice font, I will go with this one, and check the duration of the title. Mine is 5 seconds. What I will do is cut the text on every second. So starting from 1, cut that, go to 2 seconds, cut it, and so on. Now we have 5 parts with the same text and the same color. What we will do is choose a color for each of them. For example, let's keep the first one white, go to the second one, select it, go to text color, down to more, and choose a color that you like. For example, I will go with cyan. Press OK, go to the third part, select it, and do the same thing. I will make this one yellow, press OK, and continue with the same process. Now we have only simple cuts, we don't have a smooth transition between the colors. To do that, press OK, go to Transitions, and you will find the Dissolve transition. Add that between all the titles. Select one of the transitions. What we will do is change the duration of the transitions, because they happen too fast. So let's make it 20 frames. And click Apply to All. Let's go back to the start, and this is the final result. For more Filmora tips and tricks, make sure to watch this other video.